Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new season and first episode of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon on Season 5 or Dungeon Ni Dia Wa Motomoru Motomeru no Wa Machigatero Daroka Season 5 Hojo no Megumi Han or Is It Wrong? Is it wrong to pick up girls? Is it wrong that I want to meet you? I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot of titles in this, you know. But if anything else, you could call it Don Machi Season 5 or Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? Season 5 on Episode 1. Anyways, this first episode right here, somehow, I don't know how it was just released a little earlier than expected. But I guess people have their ways to, like, um, get it done early. But if anything else, let's just get this started right away. We have to it that... We get to see some narration and a young girl crying in the field of flowers. And apparently it's really got me confused by having an idea what was going on. But we get to see after the opening, which was really nice. We get to see Bell and his crew actually leveled up a bit. Which I thought was pretty nice to know considering that what they went through in Season 4, it would be strange for them not to level up. As for Hestia, she was hesitant to want to rank up Bell because there's a chance that he might be targeted. Which is could be understandable cautionary measurements to make sure he will not get attacked whatever the event is to happen other than that though other than that bell and his crew and his teammates that went on the expedition with him celebrated at the you know the nice dawn or inn or bar whatsoever but we get to see some funny scenes involving Ryu the lion you know she is apparently flustered and embarrassed to look at Belle because she fell in love with him obviously but that is was all mentioned that in season four which I'm pretty sure you guys remember hopefully you do but other than that, we get to see when it came to the next morning, we see to it Ryu and Sira talk with each other, and Sira tells Ryu that she actually is in love with Belle, and that she decided to ask Ryu's permission, because I think she has an idea that Ryu is also in love with Belle, and ask her, hey, can I ask him out on a date? And Ryu's like, I don't know why you're asking me, I mean, I have nothing, no right to stop you, but I'll encourage you. You want to invite him? Go ahead and invite him. Not a big deal to me, as long as things work out. And... We get to see that Sira decides to send Belle a letter through someone else from the Freya family and she is known to be a nameless person. Not to mention she also has a name called Horn. Yes, that's right. Some gray looking like girl or woman that seems to be disliking Belle very much gives him a letter and that he just and Belle decides to like maybe meet up with Seer the next day to go to the festival. We have to it Seer and her co-workers are talking with each other about like um about the situation and we get to see the Freya family having to talk with each other as well. We get to see some of the high ranking like um members, well all of them are high rankings, high levels whatsoever. They all wonder why Freya is going after like um, Belle whatsoever, la la la. One of them suggests killing him off, but the other suggests not to do it because if he dies, Freya will follow him to the to the heavens above. And I'm like, "Oh my lord, man. Whatever." Um we get to see that Belle was wondering what to do because you know, he doesn't know if Sirius is joking around or whatever why she would ask him out on the date. But when he was like continuing to think for a bit, he gets ambushed or attacked by one of the Freya members of the members of the Freya family. He decides to possibly test him or just attack him out of like curiosity, and he actually defeated Bell pretty pretty badly. And this guy's name is Hilder Slave, whatever his name is, Hilder Slave. All I could tell you is that he's a freaking elf and that he attacked Bell out of curiosity or whatever the reason is. He was kind of disappointed. To see how he to see Bell's skill, and he says like, "I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm taking you in, and you have no right to refuse." And he threatened him in a manner in a manner that, like, um, is going to possibly kill him if he says no. But anyways, the ending of Don Machi. Well, all I can really tell you is that I swear this freaking step production company or whatsoever studios love to make their fan service like um very fluid and very like um what's the word arousing <laughs> sorry about that um anyways there's a post credit scene involving Sierra talking to Freya eventually Freya does warn her that I'll let you go see the boy but if things don't work out or if it goes wrong and he finds out you're lying you're not then then that's it. You're never allowed. You're not allowed to ever see him again. Is that clear? 
and so forth. And the episode ends off there and preview of next episode's title, I believe, is called Master. So, yeah. Anyways, I thought the first episode was pretty nice, although there was not a lot going on until the very end of the episode. And then, you know, Barrel gets ambushed by one of the Freya member family, fa Freya Familia members and threatens him saying, I'm taking you in. You're coming with me, like it or not. You have no right to refuse because I'm stronger than you. Which is obvious from the get-go because we all know the Freya Familia is a very strong group. They are consist. They consist of high level six members and possibly, maybe more. Who knows? But, anyways, I look forward to next episode. Considering that knowing that this season might be some heavy drama and heavy like um, trouble in what's to come. Because if this is about Freya this time of this season, then I'm pretty sure there's trouble above the surface and below it because we all know Freya is in madly in love with Belle which we don't really know why if if it's either because of his purity or his soul whatever the situation is we all know how she acts or how she is so until then people I'll see you guys in the next video so I'm off of zero have a good day I'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye Toot, ta -da!